My special guest in this exclusive interview today is none other than Mr. Klaus Schwab, founder and chairman of the World Economic Forum. Mr. Schwab, I've been a big fan of your work for a while now, so I'm very pleased to have this opportunity to be talking with you. It's my great honor. Thanks, bro. I'm honored that you're honored. Now, you're someone who no one in their right mind would ever let babysit their children. Yet trusting you to shape the future of humanity is something I think we're all on board with. And your work is incredibly altruistic. So what is it that you see that the world needs that you're trying to provide? I see the need for a great reset. Klaus, you're just being modest. I think it'll be a tremendous reset. It's a big service to humanity. As such, is there a dilemma about the great reset that keeps you up at night? How can we do it to make sure that a majority of people are benefiting from it and not just a minority. Well, I think if there's a person that the common people rely on to stand up for them against the agenda of the elites, it's you, Klaus. Tell me about your connection to the deep state. Intrinsically connected to one and another. I don't think you just said actual words but I like your confidence. And I notice your eyes look like they're almost closed because your shitty face is so droopy. And some people with what's called evidence have suggested that you've orchestrated how you say the global pandemic and they don't like it. But how do you feel about your orchestration of it? That's what I'm maybe most proud of in my life. I like how you just own it. We know the health industry, the digital industry will go out of this crisis strengthened. What a weird coincidence that the industries you control have profited so much. Huh. Well, I'm wondering, and just to give you context, some of the historic greats have had quotes that people always think of when they hear their names. Like Jesus, do unto others as you'd have done to yourself. The Buddha, this too shall pass. Gandhi, be the change you wish to see in the world. And with you, by 2030, you'll own nothing and be happy about it. Very inspirational, I might add. What's your motive behind such profound words? This is an opportunity again to find solutions uh, which are beneficial for the next generation. I do see how owning nothing would be very beneficial to the next generation. It's kind of like mandatory poverty. Well, not for you, but for them. Kind of takes the stress out of wondering, will I be successful or not? And I like that. But how do you think the next generation will feel about it? So um, we have to prepare for a more angry world. Yeah, sounds like they'll love it. Moving along. You've advocated for a global digital health pass. What does that mean? We provide everybody with uh, decent access to the health system. Hmm. My notes say you've never been elected to be in charge of the healthcare system, nor have you been elected to be in charge of everyone for that matter. Hmm. Must be a typo on my end. Guys, could we get this corrected? Sorry about that, sir. It's very embarrassing. Let's just move on. Now, Klausy Boyd, you've said to never let a good crisis go to waste. And you've definitely capitalized on your COVID crisis. Do you have plans for another crisis, perhaps an even bigger one? The environmental crisis, the climate crisis could be a much bigger one. Can't wait. However, we do know that global energy systems, food systems, and supply chains will be deeply affected. There are no coincidences, are there, Klaus? And I wonder who will affect these things and why you know so far in advance that they'll be affected. <laughs> what do you know about adrenochrome? The way I saw it, young people were the most important. That sounds terrible. How does that work? So many young people really in key positions. Oh, gross. To be honest with you, I don't really approve, but... It's probably just a cultural difference between humans and reptiles. Schwabsky, your narrative says a lot about helping people and bettering their lives, while those who believe in the conspiracy theory called reality see your actions as ones that hurt people and make their lives worse. And I think 
We shouldn't see the two as contradictory objectives. Good point. I see how the square peg fits perfectly in the round hole. Accordingly, you've talked before about genetically editing the population, and your top advisor, Dr. Noah Harari, has talked about you elites building digital dictatorships by hacking humans and re-engineering life. For those at home, let's take a look. The difference of this forced uh, industrial revolution is it doesn't change what you are doing. It changes you if you take a genetic editing. Data might enable human elites to do something even more radical than just build digital dictatorships. By hacking organisms, elites may gain the power to re-engineer the future of life itself. But soon, at least some corporations and governments will be able to systematically hack all the people. So, Klaus, given what you and your advisor have said, how do you feel about controlling every person on the planet? I'm so happy. F dude, that's pretty heavy. Enslaving humanity? I bet you were never held as a child. Not even once. But here's what I'm wondering. If enslaving humanity is your goal, you can't just tell them what you're doing or else they wouldn't take your injections and use your digital IDs. You'd have to call it something else to disguise it. Something benign or even inspiring. So do you have an alias for what you call your human enslavement project? So false industrial revolution. That's a great name for it. It sounds progressive. I'm on board. Let's dive deeper, because I like where we're going here. So to control people, you'd have to get them to depend on you and all the governments that you control. And we all know that the only way for the few to control the many is with fear. And I know you're big on helping people by fear-mongering about your climate crisis. So how do you see all that fitting together? Why not to tie government aid to the green economy which we have to create. Oh, a social credit score, that sounds super sweet. But to your question, why not tie government aid to the green economy which we have to create? That's a great question and I'm happy to share. First, creating a society where people have to rely on government aid is called communism and people with a soul see that as evil. And it's caused horror and suffering 100% of the time it's been implemented throughout history. And I think your green economy vision is just a virtuous sounding scheme to manipulate people with fear into being controllable, rather than you having genuine concern for potential planetary changes due to carbon emissions. So when you look at it that way, that's why not to tie government aid to the green economy that we don't have to create. It's a good looking shirt, by the way. In times of crisis, the role of governments is more important and more relevant than ever. Well, not if it's the governments causing the crisis in order to form a one world government. But I don't know. Oh, who's your all time favorite government leader you're colluding with in order to cause times of crisis? His Excellency Xi Jinping. He is excellent, isn't he? I love all the genocide he's doing. This has been a beautiful interview, but before we end, it's time for the lightning round, Klaus. If you were a kitchen appliance, what would you be? I, I sink. You'd be a sink? I totally get it with a personality and all. Do you get more excited about citizens shaping the future or the governments you control shaping the future? For governments shaping the future. You are a communist. That's awesome. Well, Klaus, Thank you for taking the time to sit down and open up in such a beautiful, vulnerable, honest way. I'm walking away feeling inspired to be more obedient, surrender my free will, and I even feel more terror. Thank you, Klaus. I hope you have a great reset. And now a public service announcement. If you like freedom, you might enjoy some of the new designs in my freedom shop. It contains all the classics, plus some new ones, including the defund the deep state design. Check it out at awakenwithjp.com and enjoy spreading the freedom vibes. Appreciate you. Hmm. This is a very difficult book to read. 
But enough about that. I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Blue Blocks, my favorite evidence-based blue light blocking glasses. I use Blue Blocks regularly in my evening routine to protect me from blue light so that I can get ideal sleep and ultimately wake up the next day with full energy so I can live life to the fullest while feeling my best. Sometimes I forget how much better I feel when I wear Blue Blocks because it's part of my evening routine every single day. But sometimes when I'm out traveling, I'll forget to pack my blue blocks. And that's when I start to realize and get reminded how effective they are because I go a few days without it and my sleep and energy is negatively affected and I don't like it. But JP, protecting yourself from blue light, that's not very inclusive to the blue light. Yeah, it's that way on purpose because here's the problem with blue light. When it comes off your screens, your indoor lighting, your phone at night, that blue light signals to your body it's daytime, which provokes your awakening hormones and suppresses your sleep hormones. That spells trouble for your sleep and your energy. But by putting on a pair of beautiful blue blocks, which come in a variety of stylish frames and lens options, you protect yourself from blue light so you can keep your hormones in an ideal balanced state so you can feel and function your best. Because indoor lighting and phones and computer screens, they haven't been in our evolutionary biology until up until like three, four years ago. So the body doesn't know how to deal with the blue light at night, but blue blocks does that for you because you evolve too slowly. And if you want to join me in using blue blocks to feel and function your best, grab yourself a pair at blueblocks.com slash JP, and please use a discount code JP to get yourself 15% off. Now I've got some reading to do.